Hi guys! So today we're gonna be doing the combined workout and it's a combination of internal training and a time challenge. And I did it today and I completed it in 12 minutes. So it's basically up to you how long it's gonna take you. And you can try to compete with me and try to beat my time. And uh, there are only bodyweight exercises in this workout. So the only thing that you really need is your interval timer. So now I'm just going to go over the exercises. I'm going to show you the proper form and I'm going to give you some modifications for beginners. So in the first part of this workout, we're going to be doing triple sumo squat. And the exercise looks like this. You're going to step with your feet wide apart. You're going to squat down until your thighs are parallel to the ground. Keep your chest up, core tight, back straight, push your hips really far back and from here you're going to do a jump squat. So just a few inches off of the ground, land softly on the balls of your feet and from here you're going to do a jump tuck. So you have to really power up, try to bring the knees as high as you can in the air. And now you're going to do side to side, knee up. Now this whole thing was one rep and your goal is to complete as many reps as you can during each interval. For beginners, I suggest that you guys do just uh, two jump, jump squats instead of jump tuck because the jump tuck is really challenging exercise. So for you guys, it's going to look like this and I'm going to show you from the side now so that you know how far you have to go with your hips back. So you guys are going to do squat and Jump squat, another jump squat, and side to side, kneels. So, have fun with this one, and now we're going to move on to the second part of this workout. So, the second part of this workout is a time challenge. So, your goal is to complete this part as fast as you can. So, set your timer as a stopwatch now, and uh, you're going to be doing these two exercises. So, you're going to start in, in this plank position, keep your body in one straight line, everything is tensing, don't drop your hips, and you're going to be jumping with your feet forward, but slightly towards the side. So, you're going to jump to the side, back into the middle, jump towards the opposite side, back into the middle, and you're gonna do 10 reps. Each jump counts as one rep. So complete 10 of them. Then you're gonna lower your body down onto the mat and you're gonna roll over. And here you're gonna be doing two touches. So the exercise looks like this one, two, three, and so on until you complete 10 reps. Make sure that your lower body is pressed into the exercise mat. You can bend your knees slightly if that helps you. And keep your abs really tight. So you're lifting your leg up and you're lifting your shoulder blades off of the ground. And you're touching your toe. So complete 10 reps, then roll over back. And push up. And continue with this exercise. Now, for beginners, this might be a little bit tough. So, what you guys can do instead of the jumping, you can be just stepping towards the side like this. And if it helps you, you can also push your hips a little more up, step with your feet a little bit forward so that, so that your hips are up. And this is easier. After you complete 10 reps, just go on your belly and roll over. I think you can do that. And try to do the two touches. The more you, you bend your knees, the easier this exercise will be. So even if you cannot reach towards your toes, just try your best. It's important that you're just trying. So, don't worry about this if you cannot reach all the way towards your toes. Just do your best, even if you do this. As a beginner, you just have to feel that it, it's intense for you. So, uh, 
don't worry you're gonna get stronger you're gonna get more flexible as we do these workouts on a regular basis so this was the second part of this workout and I'm gonna show you the third one so the last part of this workout is an interval training so make sure you reset your timer again and you're gonna be doing side burpees and we did a side burpees in our last workout so we're already familiar with them but this time we're gonna give it a little tweak and we're gonna add a push-up and a knee tuck so the exercise looks like this you're gonna start tall squat down put your hands on the ground with fingers facing each other and slightly towards the side so now you're gonna jump your feet uh, to the side and you're gonna end up in this side plank position from here you're gonna do a push-up and a knee tuck so you're bringing this top leg, this top uh, knee towards your front elbow and you're doing the push-up like this now jump the feet back uh, in the middle and jump up so you're gonna be doing the side burpees and knee tuck push-up towards only one side for one interval and you're gonna be uh, alternating the sides for each new interval I'm gonna have the whole workout explained step by step on my blog body the TV so don't worry about it it's gonna be all there perfectly explained so that you can try this workout at home and I just wanted to give a last tape and modification for beginners for this exercise because this exercise is really one of the hardest so beginners you guys gonna squat down place your hands on the ground slightly towards the side again and instead of the jumping you can just step to the side make sure that your body is in one straight line you're not dropping the hips now if this is too hard for you really really hard for you cannot even hold it then you can just put your hip on the ground and just rest your hip on the ground and all you have to do is to bring your knee towards your elbow and do this press up you're still moving you're still getting benefits uh, of exercising so don't worry about it I just want you to be moving now you can try to get into the plank position and try to just step back into the squat and try to do a little jump up just a few inches off of the ground you can do it so that's it that's the whole workout all the exercises and I hope you guys can try it at home it's just a body weight exercises and with the modifications really anyone can try this workout at home and you can be getting in shape at the home if you're consistent in today's coffee tag I was talking about the consistency so if you need to check it out check it out it's on my site as well uh, I did this workout and I was sweating it was really hard, I was trying to push as hard as I could and uh, you can see that in that video as well. So, you guys let me know how did you enjoy this workout and uh, if, you, if you managed to beat my time and my reps. And I will see you the next time, I will see you on Sunday and we will set a new diet challenge for the following week and we're gonna talk about new workout schedule. So, that's it for today, thanks for watching and see you the next time.